Barkin City is inspired by one of the most prominent features of Mars, the Barkin Dunes. In our site, Acedalia Planitia, the Barkin Dunes are oriented south with the predominant wind direction, forming the most stable type of dune. The project is influenced by nature on Earth and on Mars. The buildings mimic the plants' behavior in extreme conditions on Earth, and mimic the dunes on Mars being one of the few notable natural features. The project aims to create a dune-shaped complex of buildings that follow the wind direction and create new topography for the site, blending in and becoming one with Mars's nature. The main focus of the city is planting. It provides various cultivation facilities, residential areas, workspaces, and the services required to maintain them. It is the next step towards a fully functional, independent, and plant-centric community. The project consists of clusters linked together to form a city. The design and transformations done to the clusters were inspired by the natural adaptation of trees and plants in extreme conditions, in different biomes on Earth. These adaptations inspire the design of the different clusters and how they are formed according to their heights and protection level needed. The project is composed of three integrated components, which are the exostructure, skin, and structural columns. The exostructure defines the design of the facade in its cellular nature and relieves loads from the structural columns allowing for fewer columns overall. The lower gravity and pressure on Mars allow for taller and wider buildings requiring less structural support. The skin contains algae cultivation chambers that provide energy, oxygen and other potential benefits such as soil fertilization, pollution control and being a food source. Algae is integrated to enhance many systems of the project. The food system used in the city would be a bioregenerative food system where fresh crops would be grown on Mars. The initial farming media would be aeroponics as it uses the minimum resources in terms of nutrients, water, and storage space as it can be formed vertically. This will allow for more crop density within the same space. Eventually, we hope to be able to grow food on Martian soil but this would require either terraforming or providing earth-like conditions and developing a closed system environment for the plants to survive. There are five criteria which are essential to growing plants and to the success of our project. These criteria are nutrients, light, carbon dioxide, water, and temperate climate. Acedalia planitia was selected based on these criteria and is the most suitable site as it contains lower dust levels, which allows for more sunlight exposure, it also contains high levels of elements such as silicon, iron, and thorium which could be used in the future to power the project. All 16 elements required to grow plants have been detected on Mars, in addition to water. At our site, daytime and nighttime temperatures are the highest on the planet, which makes it one of the warmest locations on Mars. The goal of the project is to create a fully functional plant-centric community, and we achieve this using the program. Mars is a hostile environment to humanity. Our bodies cannot handle the conditions of extraterrestrial planets, and this will prioritize developing protective gear. The program is unique to Mars and is tailored around the use of plants and the development of protection technology. The project provides functions under five categories, residential, recreation, work, planting, and services. The city starts with the most essential buildings, which are healthcare, manufacturing, residential, and planting facilities. The healthcare building is essential to study the changes that occur to the human body within the extraterrestrial environment. Manufacturing uses ores already present on Mars to produce building materials. As the city expands, it creates work, education, and more of the existing facilities. The program builds an interconnected plant-centric community while also providing functions that build the enjoyable community the project aims to achieve. The functions are placed according to their internal hierarchy and their relationships creating individual clusters. Also, the vertical hierarchy is based on the level of protection needed for each function. Some functions such as the residential and healthcare facilities will be underground to provide the most protection against radiation and other hazards. Other functions may be in high-rise buildings or in between. The buildings are connected by travel tubes that act as the main circulation method across the city. Barkin City's unique concept to house humans and plants to create an independent plant-centric community makes it a sustainable and efficient design that could become the first city on Mars.